Okay, we're going to some more of the 2022 FIFA World Cup here with Senegal, here on FIFA 23. And we are up against Iran, which they have had a magical run to the final. But yeah, World Cup final for the ages, they are not kidding about that. It's Manuel Sarah's quality performance. And... We're going to take a look at the standings here real quick. Let's see who won the third place match, which ended up going to Uruguay. They beat Cameroon 2-1. But before we continue on here, hopefully you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. But I don't want to delay this anymore. I want to get straight into this match because this is a match that I didn't think would happen. I, wouldn't, I never would have thought to see Iron Man in a World Cup final. So this is going to be rather awesome if you ask me. But, um, I am not playing with the away kits. I'm going to have those kits on us. I kind of like that red on Iran. Well, it's actually supposed to be pronounced Iran, but I say Iran. I, I apologize for any um, Iranians that are watching this, but that's, a, that's just how we say it here. In the U.S., I know there was an interview that Tyler Adams did during the World Cup where a um, a reporter pretty much scolded him, saying that, "Oh, well, you're you're saying you're for human rights in Iran, but you can't get the name of a country pronounced right." But I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. It's I, I do I do feel bad for those that are. And I do apologize for those that are sensitive when it comes to that, but that's just how I've always said it. I know it's supposed to be Iran, but that's just it just doesn't for me it just doesn't feel it doesn't flow off the tongue as easily as what Iran does, so I'm just I just keep on saying Iran, but anyway, without further ado I mean, if you think about it, though, you know, there are several places and several things that do have multiple uh, pronunciations, so, I mean, I don't know. Again, I do apologize for those that do get triggered when I say I ran, but that's how I've always said it my entire life. But anyway, the stage is set. Both these teams looking to their first World Cup t a title in their history. Okay, he, he does say Iran, okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be Iran and Iraq, not Iran and Iraq. I'm trying to think. I think I have versed Iran like one other time in tournament mode since I started this series. But we are going to kick things off here at Lucell Stadium. Oh, oh God, Marnie's out wide. He, I've, I've struggled with him out in the wing. I just feel he's better as a striker, as a winger, personally. He's much better. You, you much know him for scoring goals rather than crossing balls. But anyway, who, who is that? I don't know who that oh, is. That's Diallo scoring the first goal. I knew there was a good reason for me to put him in this squad. Habib Diallo. Apparently his first name's Habib, not Ahmad. 
So this must be a different Diallo altogether. I keep on calling him a mod, but it must be a beep. Sorry about that. Ah, Diallo! I complimented, dude, and that's how you freaking... Okay, nice! Beautiful! Quit crashing to the net. Let's celebrate with the fans. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I want to. I want to check. I'm gonna jump into the sim, but let me check out this Iranian team. Oh God, you gotta be kidding me! Good thing there's different shapes. They got Jahan Boxer in the squad. They got um, Sardar, Teremi. Teremi's been killing it for Porto in real life. Kalilazada, Maharami. Abed Zada, some of the names I recognize. Okay, Mane! Why is it why is he slowing down there? Come on, Mane! Uh-oh. Oh, okay, that's offside. I was gonna say. What? Okay, it's Mayla Sara crossing it to an Iranian player. You mean to tell me they couldn't put red for Iran? They, they couldn't put white for us? It has to be both of them. have to be black? Neither one of us have black in our kits. As Habib Diallo uh, gets a brace and he triples our lead here in the 33rd minute. Well, 34th minute. Highest rate of play for Iran is Tarimi at a 6.0. Come on, guys. Get it out of there. Okay, Diallo. Can't get past the Iranian center backs. Okay, come, 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 come. Really? I have a feeling I'm going to make a change. Yeah, I'm making a change at center back. I don't know if that was Koulibaly or Diallo, but one of these two has to go. I'm putting Cissé in there. Yeah, one of these two has to go. Yeah, Iran should be red and we should be white. That should be the color coordination here. Not both of us be black. Neither one of us have any black on our kid at all. Okay, gotta remember we're going from left to right this time, not right to left. Iran dominating possession so far. Block the shot, there he go! Oh, so much for keeping a clean sheet in this game, guys. Have you guys ever heard of clearing the ball? Come on, Marnie, come on, shoot! What was he doing there? Mona, you t you're turning... Maybe I should have had Kuyate be the captain because he's had, overall, a much more consistent tournament than what Sadio Mane has. If I'm being totally honest with you guys. Oh, come on. Uh, heavy touch by Gueye. I'm jumping in. Guys! Show a little bit of hustle, will you please? A little bit. Okay, can we seal this? 
Come on, Diallo. There we go. Beautiful finish. It looks like we're going to end this, this this particular game with a popular 4-1 scoreline. Okay, let's just keep the ball now. We are just a couple minutes away from stoppage time. And just stoppage time away from our first ever World Cup win. Yeah, I've won the World Cup with Ghana and Cameroon. Now I'm on the verge of winning one of Senegal here. I can't say this was a bad final, but there are a few things I really didn't like. The most disappointing thing about this final, though, was Sadio Mane, in my opinion. He's going to be lifting the World Cup trophy, but I really wish I'd have had Kuyante lifted instead of, I'm being honest. Because, like I said earlier, I thought Kuyante had a much more consistent tournament. Mane had, like, a good two games in this tournament. He was good in the, the one group stage match I, against Ukraine, and he also did good in the round of 16 game against Sweden, but other than that, he was pretty much... The effort just wasn't there. As he walks up, grabs the World Cup trophy, and he's gonna lift it for the first time here. Senegal win their first World Cup t title in their history. Okay, I'm, I'm curious to see what the stats are in this game. Iran had much more possession. I'm not surprised about that. They had better dribble success rate. We had better shooting accuracy and passing accuracy. Okay, they had more passes. They made more saves. They had one corner. Who was man of the match? And it was Habib Diallo with his hat-trick and one assist. There's no question about that. Ismail Assar with an 8.2. Sadio Mane, 6.6. .6. I think that's actually being generous. I thought he was actually much worse than that. And Jan Box scoring the lone goal for Iran. It was unassisted because our guys don't know how to clear the flipping ball. But that is it. Senegal becomes the third African country here in this tournament mode series to win a World Cup. And they are champions of the world. But yeah, I'm still undecided whether or not I want to do Morocco or Tunisia. But I, I kind of want, especially since Iran, well, Iran, made the final here. I kind of want to do a tournament mode on them. But uh, Sadio Mane ends up getting the golden boot ahead of uh, Luis Suarez, which I forgot to check that at the end of the last episode. But um, are you from Ghana getting four alongside Diallo and Sar? Ismail Sar, seven assists in seven matches, three ahead of uh, Sadio Mane. Neuer getting two clean, sheets, two clean sheets alongside Hennessy, Muslera, Kripo. Onana and Livakovic. We didn't get a single clean sheet in this tournament mode. I'm pushing back, game. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Diallo Hatrick Hero against Iran. And there's another look at Diallo. Okay, let's see who made the team in the tournament. Okay, Ismail Asar, Chekiate, Sadio Mane made the... Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of our players end up making team of the year, the tournament. With the, uh, Diallo, our center back, Koulibaly, Sabali, our right back, Sadio Mane, Chekiate, and Ismail Asar. 
Mane got named player of the, the tournament. I... Normally I would be happy about that, but like I said, Sadio Mane had a very inconsistent World Cup, in my honest opinion. I'm not sure if it's deserved. As he poses right by the World Cup trophy. I don't know, maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh, but... It just didn't seem like he had that energy at times. And I even gave him a day's rest because of his lackluster performance against Germany. But I don't know. I don't know what the story is. But if there's a particular group that you're uh, interested in, you can go ahead and pause the video. And I just realized Norway, Sweden, and Finland, the three main Scandinavian countries up in that penis peninsula in, that sa in the same group, which would never happen in real life, but... Considering there's not enough countries from all the other continents in this game, I, they kind of had to make do. Yeah, Iran didn't even win their group. Germany did. But we ended up ousting Germany and Iran ended up making it all the way to the final. But you can see we beat Sweden. We beat Germany in the quarterfinals. We beat Cameroon in the semifinals. Third place goes to Uruguay with Cameroon finishing fourth. And of course, Iran finishing as runners well up to us. We ended up beating them 4 1 to win the World Cup. But there we go. That is the tournament mode here for Senegal here on FIFA 23. I am going to be playing as a. A team that had qualified in real life, though I will say that it will not, once again, it will not be a European team. So I will not be playing as a European team. So, but I will not be playing as an African team. So you have a, either a North American, a South American, or an Asian team to try to guess what my, my next tournament mode is going to be. But it is a country that I am looking forward to doing a career mode on. It's a, a, a nation that gets kind of overlooked. But does have some talented players on it, so I'm looking forward to seeing how the team plays in-game. Hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.